So when I get started with um, structuring the HTML, I look at the I look at the desktop design and I look at the mobile design and I look at what the structure is like and then based on that I will look I will build the HTML. So I will start with the mobile version. So of course the first thing is we're going to need a main main of the class L. You can do main or main container. I will do main and then um, section dot container. Now um, we have these cards. So you're pretty much just building cards. Um, you can do just divs, and then each one has a the profile, they have a title, and then they have the content. <coughs> so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a div with another div. Wait, a div called testimonial. 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 Um, continue and then with a um, div dot prof profile container and then with a mm -mm, content container. You can just write container or section or whatever you want to call them. Um, and then there is one, two, three, four, five. There's five of them. So times five, let's see if this works. And no, it did not work. <laughs> I don't know why that didn't work. But anyway, I created the div, and then we can just copy and paste it. To actually, and then what I'm gonna add? This should not be. So then within the profile container, we have um, an image, which would be the profile image. And then we have a profile, we can just say, profile name. And then we have a profile position or we can just name it position so we have all of this and then in the content we have a we can do content title um, plus yeah just content. content. So that's basically the structure that we're gonna have here. So then we're just gonna copy and paste this. You can close these so it's easier to read. So then we're just gonna copy and paste this four more times. So we have one, two, three, one, five. Okay. 
So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Whoa, we have an extra one. One, two, three, four, five. We only need five. So now what I'm gonna do really quickly is I'm just gonna put the content where it goes. So put the names and um, the titles and just all of the content, put it where it goes in each container. Okay, so I put all the contents already within the HTML, so I'm just going to delete all of this um, from here. And now we have the structure of our project and we have our CSS set up. So now you can get into the fun part, <laughs> which is actually um, styling everything and of course making it responsive, making everything look great. And we can look, we can see how it looks now so we can open the live server. Mm. And this is what we have. <laughs> so this is what we're starting off with. And as you can see, it's just like the bare bones. Um, but you can see there's some structure. So you have here the name, the title, um, and the content and you can see that it's separated so there's one and this one and this one um but that's that so that's that for this video and always every time i finish working for a day on the project i always push it push it to github um i so i if you put get status you can see that we made some changes and it tells you here as well. So we made, whoa, we also made change. Oh yeah, so it shows you here. Wait. It shows you here where we made changes. So obviously we made changes in index HTML, style guide, and style.css. So we just want to push all of that to GitHub. So we're just going to put git add, and we're going to add all of that. And then we're gonna get commit. And my commit messages are always super random. <laughs> I'm just gonna put styling set up styling and HTML setup. And then we're going to get push that into the main because remember we named it main the branch um if you named it master then you would put master or whatever it is that you use and it's done it's up on github so that's gonna be it for this video this is just the setup pushing it to github the initial push and then for the next video we're gonna get into the styling but stay tuned for the next video i will upload it soon um, and that will be the actual styling and how we use CSS Grid and Flexbox to create this um, design. So I will see you all in my next video. Bye!